All right, we're out here another uh, chilly little November morning, and I got out here early trying to beat the uh, traffic noise. Um, I don't know if you can hear the Canadian goose flying over honking. Um, but it wasn't so bad in the last video, so we'll see how this one goes. Please like and subscribe for more info, if this is good info for you. I'm trying to monetize the channel. we got a whole 20 subscribers now. Three more than we had a couple days ago, so fantastic. I'll take all I can get. But today I figured I'd tell you about um, how the motor, the engine of the air-cooled Vanagon cools itself and what important parts there are, what you should have, which is basically everything. Um, what tin is, engine tin. When I first got this van 20 years ago, um, I knew nothing about air-cooled cars. I knew all about Chevys and Fords and water-cooled vehicles, but um, VW was the only thing I'd ever heard that had something called tin. And basically all tin is is duct work. Not duct, duct, you know, duct work, but duct. Like furnace duct. But it directs air around your engine and keeps it cool. So we'll go and I'll, I'll show you what all that is. So, how the air-cooled Vanagon cools itself. Another thing, too, and why you need all the tin is this was the last time they used an air-cooled engine in any of their vehicles. It was basically the same one they'd been using for years, and they over-engineered over everything to make that little engine push this big, heavy vehicle around. So that's why everything's important, and I'll show you why. Um, like I said, I didn't know anything about air-cooled, and I had a real VW guy, real VW, you call him a guru, show me and explain why things were and I was like oh okay makes sense to me and uh, I just what he told me I did and everything was always better that way so let's go through and I'll show you how the air cooled cooling system works we're gonna start back here where cool air comes into the van is back here through these big vents if you've ever noticed old Volkswagens they have these big old vents right here these serve a big purpose. They're taking cool air from up top and drawing it into the engine compartment. Then we come over here. Watch the Tesla. That's an old, old video, by the way. That's not my car. I would not buy one of those. All right. Well, let's bring it up a little bit this way. All right. Now, you know, it has two vents, one on each, one on either side. They run down this channel here, over to here, into your engine compartment. This just is this this is a sealed box. It's supposed to be anyways. You get this as sealed as you can. That's why you got the clamps. And that. So coming on to here, this seal around here. Okay, that's important. A lot of times it joins together right there. This will come out and hang. Don't cut it off or anything. Make sure you got the whole seal all around here so it's sealing up this box. If you'll notice, all this black stuff all around, there's very little light coming through. A little bit of light right there. That won't hurt anything. But anyways, those big vents draw air in this side and in this side. And that is drawn in by your fan here you can't see it because it's in front of this now this little door back here is for putting in oil and checking your oil and right there see how long this poor old girl's been sitting has crap in there you don't want any of this in here i need to clean all that out but that little squirrel cage there is the fan that cools this whole motor this part and here, this thing right here, the sponge right here, you will probably never see one of those in another van again. This is an actual part that came on the car when it was new. Um, when I first bought it, it didn't have this. I put um, I like furnace tape to give it to seal. But there was a guy on the Samba that bought like five of these he found somewhere, and he gave me one of them. But this is an actual part. But you want this to be sealed up too, this little door. Um, 
anyways that's your fan it pulls air from your big vents right there pulls it in to here and directs it from here to here now you see your tin right here that is actually directing air over the top of the motor so cool air comes in here goes over the top of the motor underneath there are pieces of tin that directs it around the other side then out the bottom um, on both sides and like I said every piece of tin is important directing that air over the engine and out the back this here is the fan on the alternator this right here is where the fan from the alternator takes in cool air and you'll see it comes in right from this box this big old rubber piece here is important you need to have that because it's taking air from cool air from the side taking that cool air pumping it through this tube and this tube and they come out at the bottom here you can't see it and go through your heat exchangers and keep the bottom of the engine cool by keeping pumping cool air through them so you need this you need this you need all these pieces to make sure this engine stays cool and doesn't drop a seat or anything um, what else do we got in the cooling system again I'm trying to think I didn't get out to Bentley this time but I don't know if we can see him let's go check over here okay you might be able to see this here this is your heat exchanger if you see this pipe right here it's coming down there's another one on the other side that is from your alternator and what's doing is it's blowing cool air through this heat exchanger through the exhaust and if you notice your heat exchanger right here is pretty much under your head right here all right so that continuously blowing cool air through there is keeping this hot or cool too this whole little section and if you notice here's my tin that you see from above and that is all um sealed all right see so your tin right here there's two pieces under the heat exchangers this tin is very important it's directing the cool air around here and down and here's another thing this valve right here is very important for cooling the engine up here above that oh well, look it's disconnected that is going to the compartment for heat but as long as this part and this part is here you're fine you don't have to have this but this valve what it's doing is the heat is coming out of the alternator taking the heat exchanging it blowing it and blowing the hot air out this little mushroom looking thing and this valve right here goes either dumping the heat out of this mushroom thing or up to the cabin I just notice that another thing you, you always want to visually inspect your van again but anyways that's how the cooling system works and like I said there's this um, piece of tin that you need and if I took this off there's little pieces of tin that go between the fins on your motor and you need those too anyways there's there's my messy engine and you can see you get some oil something going on there um, gonna have to address that but I know this this whole thing is all here but it needs rebuilt bad so that I got myself off the ground had a sip of coffee and collected myself um so that's basically how the cooling system on the air cooled works like I said the basic point of this is make sure you got all the tin um, make sure it's in place every screw um, they call them tin screws makes sense doesn't it every screw should be in place everything that you can do to seal that up is helping to cool that engine and that's really what you want like i said it was over engineered to uh cool this little engine in this heavy van um for the whole three years that they made air-cooled vanigans
One thing we didn't see is the fins that are on the cylinders. Looks like a motorcycle for, here's a picture. Is uh, what cools the cylinders is the air coming off those fins. So if you've got busted fins, if you've got a lot of dirt in there, um, that should all be nice and clean so the air can flow there and take the heat away. Um, so it's a good idea if you just bought your van to take all your tin off, take the um, fuel injection off, take the tin off, and you can do all this while it's in the van. Um, I got really good at it and could take all that stuff off in about an hour. Um, but you really need to take it all off, inspect everything, make sure it's still good and serviceable. Um, I was in the Army. Basically, that means that it's working. It don't have to be pretty. It just has to function um, clean, and that helps the engine stay cool. Anyways, uh, one thing I don't think we got to was the flap valves that are on the, the thing where the fan is that pulls the air in. There's two flaps for a thermostat, but that's a whole other video. We'll get into the thermostat and those valves. Uh, they're, they're like big flaps that are inside. Um, one of them directs air to the engine, and one of them directs air to the engine and over the oil cooler. And you need both of them open at all times. If you don't have a thermostat, just make sure they're open. Um, there's a spring on there that they're supposed to default to open or stay sprung to open at all times. Make sure they're not hanging. Um, that's about the only thing I can think of. This one went a long time, so that is how your air-cooled is cooled.